We start off with the Intel CEO shakeup. Pat Gelsinger abruptly pushed out from the top spot after almost four years at the helm. The board announcing that the company's CFO and products head will take over as interim co-CEOs. The U.S. chipmaker has struggled with declining market share and has failed to gain traction in the AI race. The stock was down more than 60 percent under Gelsinger's tenure. Today's news initially sent shares popping as much as 6 percent. But the end of the session in the red, it was the only stock in the SMH ETF down today with name like Taiwan Semi, AMAT, Marvell, all seeing outsized gains. So what does this mean that this news couldn't even get shares of Intel rallying? Seems like there's deeper troubles ahead, Guy. You know, I, I want to be kind here, but then again, I don't want to be no, kind. You've not and ever I know, been kind to Pat Gelsinger no, and because of the performance. Justified, we saw apparently we played a video. I wasn't paying any attention. I'm sorry, Sandy. I'm sure it was great. But you think about it, it's almost impossible to have there, that kind of There it is. One, 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 two. I mean, that's, that's it. See, and, I, and you, you know what's why, amazing? Why, why we said it at two? the time. I mean, if why you're going to get it? out there. Why do it at all? Well, why do but, it at all? But look, if you're going to. Why gonna, do it at all? It was idiotic. Anyway. Anyway. Sorry. And that was, I think, the beginning of the end. And it, so <laughs> when the stock is down. Actually, that, the stock was down like 60 percent at the point he did that. And it went down another 60 which is re, Which oh, is remarkable. <laughs> and over the same period of time, think about what semiconductors have done. And think of what the broader market has done. So it's, it's really difficult to have that kind of underperformance. With that said, you'll read about how Intel's a difficult company to manage and a lot of moving parts. But, you know, the ba bottom line is you can't cut your way and then lack of innovation your way to prosperity. And that's what's been going on there. With that said, I'm surprised the stock behaved the way it did today. If you had told me a week ago this would happen, I'd say the stock's be up 5 percent. It wasn't. But I still probably one of the few people that think there might be some opportunity here in 2025 for a name like Intel. It, it was initially. And then the analysts you know, started coming out saying maybe this raises questions about the path of manufacturing. It raises broader questions about its progress, et cetera. Or the balance sheet. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I, so it, I think at one point it was up 6.5%, you know, at least pre-market. And, and what, what signified here is that the board has a search committee. I don't think they knew this was coming. And, and so you can say that's good news or bad news. I, you know, I'll take a glass half full just because uh, we, we, we know change was needed at Intel, abrupt change. And, in fact, I, I think the, the path forward here – could be one where they find a manufacturing partner. Taiwan Semi's always been that path. Now, I realize there's politics around that. Um, but I, I do think, you know, getting in partnership to eventually enable TSMC wafers to work with, with the Intel fabs is part of at least a story where they're relevant now, even while all the exciting, exciting you know, sexy stuff, I think, is out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I, I think you have to like the news. There's no quick fix. You know, it's so interesting. This is one of the biggest years in terms of CEO and C-suite changes that we've mm -hmm. seen for the S&P 500. I feel like this is telling us that we're moving into a stock picker's market because, you know, a year ago, it didn't matter who was at the helm. It was all macro and rate risk. But I think this is a really interesting sign that it's becoming much more idiosyncratic.